some retail specific uh, use cases work we've done and I'll I, I will just mention this is with one of the world's largest retailers where the classic use cases of customer 360 so consolidate all the information you know about your customer um, including sentiment analysis from social systems buying behavior web online as well as in store um, and then correlating that data uh, with with weather point of sale systems in some cases now even wearable devices um, in order to build the most accurate view of your customer. Um, the business analysts in these systems um, were able to go from queries that took hours, then minutes, then seconds, then sub-seconds as they, as they implemented Kinetica. So um, another use case then in, in retail has been supply chain optimization, which is if there is a hot new fashion, for example, tweeted about by a celebrity, you can have, we've had clothing retailers where um, the spike in demand of a particular product is so intense and happens so quickly that they've been caught short and they've had just out of stock situations. They want to be able to build systems that can react as quickly as possible to a variety of data feeds so they can make really up to the minute routing and inventory decisions, uh, where should stock be replenished? So. Um, we are seeing increasingly these external data feeds um, about customer behavior, sentiment coming from you know new sources that drive really nuts and bolts uh, you know inventory management uh, supply chain questions that that previously had not been able to react that quickly. I can't name names, but uh, from a major retailer. Uh, we had the opportunity to address some of their challenges and these are uh, some some points of note along the way in providing a solution based on the Kinetica database. So uh, this was in the context of a retailer who had very very large scale almost money no object but that you, you can never really say that but let's just say huge capital investments in what they believed were state-of-the-art data management systems and they still were not meeting their SLAs, their demand to, to perform the, uh, the out-of-stock uh, uh, use cases described earlier. Um, they wanted to correlate, you know, again, weather, social media um, demand and uh, avoid out-of-stock uh, to, to drive the bottom line. So they had a 300 node plus uh, existing database cluster and we, if we haven't mentioned already, we probably will. We talk about orders of magnitude, you know, smaller hardware footprint. That actually lined up here. We actually started on 10 nodes, proved it, and then wanted to demonstrate linear scale. So we went to 20 and we, we stopped at 30. So a 30 node kinetic cluster powered by GPUs, so, you know, one tenth the size, proved out on their top 10 hardest queries that they gave us. Real. Traditional straight, by the way, uh, BI queries, star schema, fact tables of 150 billion rows joined to multiple dimension tables in a classic distributed join doing group buys. So um, there's, there's, there's uh, lots of great information now and awareness of using GPUs to perform deep learning and machine learning that uh, John will describe. Um, in this context, for the analytics, it was traditional SQL of, uh, you know, group buys, things like that, aggregations, you know, selects, joins. Um, this came out, again, on one-tenth of hardware, a hundred times faster. And as we continue to optimize, it, it got beyond that. And so this is not true just against the one particular vendor we were going up against, but it's true for other in-memory databases. And when I mentioned that bringing large memory into the database world is a good thing because it cuts down your latency in getting to data, but again, it just reveals that the bottleneck in the systems now are, do you have enough compute resource to process the data? So <laughs> compared to other in-memory databases, which are in, in some quarters regarded as state-of-the-art, um, they, they are so compute-bound 
that uh, we are able to demonstrate again on such a small footprint such a significant performance gain. And let me mention that the types of analytics performed at scale now, things like group buys on very high cardinality data sets, um, you know, this is a characteristic of the new types of analytics that, that, are, that are coming up in, in, you know, how many different product SKUs are there, how many different customer IDs are there. For very large scale apps that do aggregations on this highly cardinal data set, sets, you can't index your way out of it. Um, uh, you really need to have the, the, the massive parallel compute available. So um, running on such a small hardware footprint, the, the ROI was calculated on the significantly reduced data center operations cost. Um, you know, uh, machines, heating, cooling, power, headcount, uh, things like that. And then the flexibility, which we'll cover in a little bit here, about um, how this modern data architecture gives you more options for, for integration. So here's a, here's a screenshot of, of what was built for a particular retailer um, who wanted to explore. So the visualization uh, comes from Kinetica. This is a lightweight web application that's calling the Kinetica APIs to, to render visualizations that you can drill down to at any level of detail, almost like that science fiction movie trope, you know, enhance, 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 and just get deeper and deeper into the, into the data, down to the street level. If you want a multidimensional query on, in this case, you know, a product category based on a, a region, um, you can simply draw a region, a gesture on your application, and we'll perform in sub-second, even on billion-row data sets, um, what's contained within that region. Then you can just drill down on it. You can interact with, a, with a, the histogram control at the bottom there just to select a time dimension, stack these filters up. So you can really slice and dice your data without having to redesign it. I did not need to massively denormalize the data to get this to work. You've got this compute and analytic capability without having to change your data model. 